Hey, CI 1948 here. Got the next project in. This is a Harold Hauler. It's from about the 70s. That uh, it's got disc brakes on it. Uh, this back piece, it's got like a 4x4 four four bed on it. This thing's going to get tore down and restored. There's your latch. Hold the bed down. Down in here, there's your disc brakes. Little transmissions, a turfical force clutch, and an 11 horse Briggs engine on it. But, gonna start uh, tearing this down. It was uh, a farm, farmer owned it. He was he bought it. Uh, I guess out of about like a magazine. And uh, yeah, it's really in pretty good shape overall. It, he took pretty good care of it. How I guess just the pins pop out and that will come down. I haven't made a video in a while, so big gas tank on it, and it's a gravity feed. And really, overall, it's pretty clean, so it shouldn't take too much to get it going again. It's got decal on it. But uh, this was like a kit that you'd buy out of a magazine and they'd ship it to you. And then you'd basically add your own engine. And I'm not sure what all actually came with the kit, but I know for a fact you had, I'm pretty sure you had to supply your own engine. But, all right. Well, that'll do it for this little part. Answer the question nobody asked, would it recover? And yes, it turned out, it's turned out quite nicely, this front fender. You think I'd be working on getting it running, but that was bugging me. <laughs> Something I didn't mention earlier, this seat tilts up so you can get to the engine easy. And there's your starter, and your carburetor, and your spark plug, and even changing the oil, they thought about that. It's got a uh, tube extended out up under here. And I think you can see that right there. That comes out up underneath here. Tessie. Yeah, right there. So I even thought about that. And it's high enough to where you can put a drain pan under it. And there's your big fuel tank, which is actually clean inside. That surprised me. I thought that thing would be rotted out or I'd have to do some serious cleaning. It needs to be rinsed out, but you can't see anything. But it's actually in good shape. <sighs> Okay, this battery, it won't ever hold a charge. It's so old. <laughs> but, so, I'm going to need to find a new battery for it. But, um, alright. Okay, hook the battery to it. Now we'll flip the switch and see if the headlight comes on. Hey, we have light. What's it do? Okay, so it has one on position. Both these are off. Looks like it had a spot for a horn. Or a kill switch, maybe. So, don't have that, but we do have a headlight. Let's see if it cranks. I put some oil down the cylinder. I find the key switch up here. Now, oh, that battery. Ah, oh, it's too dead. Okay, well, the power seems to work. Okay, I hooked the charger to the battery that's hooked to the other battery. Let's see what we do now. Go ahead. Nope. Okay. So, I don't know if we have a safety that's not working or if this just isn't... Uh, Cooked up good enough or what's going on? But I'm turning the key and nothing's happening. Loose wire maybe. Alright. Well, I guess I'm going to fiddle around with this a bit. Okay, a lot's happened since the last time we I spoke to you. Uh, I put a new fuel line on it, cleaned the fuel tank out. It's actually pretty good. Had the carburetor off, kind of cleaned that up a bit. Uh, drain the oil, put new oil in. Uh, clean that up some more. Uh, this rear tire, I can hear the air hissing out of it. It's 
so it's not going to hold air very long. Tried a little bit of paint. I think, I don't know if that's the color I'm going to go with. Um, about to do a cold start on it, but I don't have the tripod set up, so give me a sec. Alright, threw some gas in it, we'll see what happens. Okay, take two. Darn, she's just not getting any feel to her. Okay, well after much messing around, the other carburetor was a little worse off than I thought so um, I did some messing around and got a different carburetor and uh, so now this thing should start up Now the brakes don't work, so if I drop you, I got running away. Now the drive, you put it, let's see, up is forward. Now that I know it runs, I can start taking it apart. I don't think that's the color I'm going to end up going with. I think it needs to be darker. If you look, look down there, probably needs to be a darker shade of red, but then the gas tank's a brighter shade, so I don't know. <laughs> Get that figured out. There's some more up under there. I think it's a darker shade of red, is what it needs to be. Alright, I think that's going to do it for this video. I'm um, sorry it wasn't very... Oh, I'm going to have to air that tire up again. Darn it. <laughs> but um, I think that's going to do it for this video. I know it wasn't very good, but I just kind of got into things. and when I st I'm kind of getting to a point where I start working on it. I just need to work on it. It's taking too much time to try and film every step as I go. But uh, alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Have a great day.